and he has been able to accomplish amazing things so far to come from the underdog to win the primary with a huge margin. And if you look at the numbers, he still has a very good shot to win the uh, the actual election in, in November. So with that, uh, I give him, you know, he's one of the wheels that we talk about in Jainism. He has given up his career, he went to Harvard. He is running to actually serve. I asked him, how will you pay your bills? You know, it's, it's a tough thing. At the same time, you're exposing yourself, your personal life to the whole community and the rest of the world because there's a lot of people will slander you. And he has been absolutely, you know, uh, amazing in terms of how strong he is and how good he is. So with that, I'll turn it over to Sri. Thank you very much for having me. And thank you all everyone. Jay uh, Indra. Huh? You're not here? Jay Janendra. Jay Janendra. Jay Janendra. My name is Sri Kukani. And I'm going to be Tera Texas ka Bharti U.S. Congressman Badunga. Now I'll speak in English because uh, my mother and my sister are right over there. <laughs> uh, and actually, as Amit said, you know this this is a big sacrifice. I gave up my career one year ago. I've had no income. We're working seven days a week, 18 hours a day, to try and bring some compassion, reason, and decency back to our government, back to our society. And I'm doing it with the help of my family. Uh, and just my personal savings because I think it is important. I think this is the most important election of our lifetimes. The, the reason that I'm here is not because I think that we have a perfect solution to anything. In fact, growing up here, I saw many problems in our society. I had to go across town to a different school because they had more resources and to get a better education. I, I saw horrible gun violence right in front of me. My mother and sister were in a car in front of me. When I was in the restaurant with my father, people started firing guns right in front of us. We, we hit the ground, and I didn't know if they were going to come out alive or dead. I've seen my neighbors get murdered in their own homes through gun violence. We, we've all seen horrible tragedies here, like the flooding that happened last year. It devastated the entire Houston community. Personally, the experience that Amitbhai talked about when my father was dying of leukemia when I was 18 years old and I had to drop out to take care of him. By the time that he died when I was 19, we were almost bankrupt. We see the kind of tension that's spreading across this country right now. When I went abroad to serve this country in places like Iraq and Russia and Taiwan and Israel, I was serving not because we are a perfect society, but because we believe in better things. We believe in equality and dignity for everyone. The reason why many of us came from India here is to start a better life for our family, to achieve that dream, to be a beacon of hope, truth, justice, higher values. It doesn't mean that we agree on everything. In fact, Amit and I disagree on many things. We're from different political parties. That's not what we're talking about right now. <laughs> No, but this is, this is actually a key point. This is a key point. Because when we see so many things, when we see all of these problems, when we see violence happening, last year a man named Srinivas, my name, was murdered simply because someone thought that he was a foreigner. He didn't belong in this country. We saw a Nazi rally last year in Virginia where a woman was killed and a woman from Houston was put in the hospital. The first woman in her family to go to college was put in the hospital because of a Nazi rally. We see this division spreading across the country and you might despair. You might despair, but I'm asking you to not despair, to actually have hope because the antidote to this, the antidote to this is our values. And especially, especially among all, Jain values. The thing that Jains are known for most throughout the world is Ahinsa. Ahinsa. We need that more than ever right now in our society. We need people to do their dharmic duty. We need people who are willing to stand up and say, we protect the environment, we protect education, we protect our children. Family values, that, that is what we stand for. If you want children to be safe, well-educated and healthy, then we need to push back against this wave of division, this wave of hostility across this country right now and say, there is something better, the antidote. Last night we had a concert called uh, Eight Biotic and Nagma. And the, and the concert was devoted to this campaign. Not because this is a political campaign, but because this campaign is based on the ideas of love, of compassion and decency. And people told us, 
You cannot run a campaign like that. That's not a political campaign. And I said, great. We're not talking about politics right now. We're talking about values. Because if we carry that in our heart, if we believe that the power of love and compassion is greater than the power of anger and division, if we believe that our differences are smaller than the things that hold us together, then we can push back on this. And if you have love in your heart, if you believe in compassion towards others, if you believe in it, if you believe that we can take care of our families and our children and have a better way, then I'm asking you all to spread that message with us. We are spreading it throughout the Daisy community and throughout the entire community here. We have 40,000 Daisy voters here. But we have never come out before in these numbers. What we're doing is something completely unique in American history. We are reaching out in 13 different languages, in Gujarati, in Marathi, in Kannada, in Telugu, in Bengali, in every language of our community, to say that we should stand up, we should be counted, our voices matter. It's the first time ever, and the result was that we had a 12-fold increase in the number of Daisies participating in the election. 12-fold, the highest ever, highest ever. And with your help, if you, if you believe in our message, and you believe that our community, our values, have something to offer to the world, then we need you, all of you, every single person here who has a phone. That's the most powerful thing you have because we are connected. We have a network. We, we, we don't, it's not about money, it's not about power, it's about the power of our networks, the power of the people here, these connections. If you speak Gujarati, you know, Kencho, <laughs> if you speak Marathi, if you speak any one of our languages, if you can tell us who you know, who is in your network, so that we can make sure that they actually show up, they raise their voice, at the end of October, October 22nd is when we begin voting. If we know who all in our community cares about this message, this positive message, something to be for and not against, then we can all come out with the highest level ever in our history as a Daisy community, and we can offer a message of compassion, reason, and decency to the rest of the world. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, our lunch sponsor today is uh, Kamlesh Bhai and Priti Ben Basa and uh, co-sponsor in Jain Society of Houston. So let's give a round of applause for Kamlesh Bhai and Priti Ben. Today, Tapashya Bhagwan sponsor is Rajiv Bhai and Tina Ben Jain. Rajiv Bhai, you are here? Okay. Rajiv Bhai Shah. Are you Jain Shah? 